Hey guys, so today I thought I would go through my trash and talk about the things that I've gone through, whether I'd repurchase them, what I thought about them. Uh, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I've accumulated enough. I always feel like I don't. And then when I get around to doing empties, it ends up being like an hour long video. So I think this is a good point. I think this is a good point. So I'm just gonna dive right in. I will try and do this by category, but since they're all just kind of sitting in this bag, we're gonna have to see how it goes. All right, I figured I'd go through some hair care stuff first. I'm really confused because I know I had <laughs> this shampoo and conditioner uh, set and all I see in here is the conditioner. So I wonder if I kind of just absentmindedly threw away the shampoo bottle. I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk about it. This is the Szechuan um, Ocean Mist Volume Conditioner and I have the Ocean Mist Volume Shampoo. I really liked this set. It doesn't really take the place of my number one shampoo and conditioner, which I'll talk about in just a second, but this was definitely a close second. I have been playing around with a lot of different shampoos and conditioners, and most of them I just kind of don't like. They just don't do much for my hair. Um, and I was going to do like a whole uh, favorites, like hair care products or whatever, but I figured, you know, when I go through empties, I can talk about them. So anyway, that's what we're doing. And I liked this one because it did give my hair um, a little bit of volume, not quite as much as my favorite, again, which we'll talk about, um, but I liked the scent of this and I felt like I could use this shampoo and conditioner like day after day and it didn't feel like my hair was getting tired of it. I, I feel like that happens a lot with shampoo and conditioner. If I use the same one day after day after day, it just like stops doing anything. That for me is like such a con because I don't like having a ton of shampoo and conditioner open in my shower. I just kind of like sticking to one set until I'm done with it. And then if I wanna try a different one, I'll do it at that point. So for me, it's a really big pro when I can use one all the way through and it's not like my hair stops responding to it. So I did really, really like this, but my absolute favorite is the Orbe Shampoo for Magnificent Volume and Conditioner. The conditioner, I feel like I went through faster than the shampoo and I may have talked about it in a previous favorites, but anyway, I love this set. This is my holy grail, all-time favorite shampoo and conditioner uh, for my hair. I have, as you guys can see, very straight hair. And as I've gotten older, I've noticed my hair um, it has gotten coarser, but it's also gotten a lot flatter. And so I needed something to give my hair volume without just kind of drying it out or kind of adding like grit to it. I like my hair to feel clean, but I wanted some zhuzh to it. And that's what this Orbe does. And it smells great. And this is a shampoo and conditioner. Before I kind of went down this rabbit hole of trying different shampoos and conditioners, I was using this straight uh, for probably like a year and a half with absolutely no problem. My hair never got sick of it. My hair never stopped responding to it. It always just looked the way it did upon first use. So I really, Really, really love this and I have repurchased this I'll continue to repurchase this my all-time favorite my all-time favorite dry shampoo is from Szechuan this is the dark dry powder shampoo um, they have two colors they have just the dry powder shampoo and then they have the dark one so the dark one has I wonder if you can see it on the not oh yeah so there it is on the nozzle. It has like a tint to it. So it works for my um, dark brown hair color. The reason why I love this particular dry shampoo versus other ones is that it it's kind of like a hybrid between a dry shampoo and a texturizing spray. I'm not someone that really needs a dry shampoo in the shampoo sense. I don't um, need something that's just gonna kind of eat away uh, dirt and grime and styling products and kind of let me go another day without shampooing. I pretty much wash my hair every day. So what I need is something that's going to, again, like add a little bit of volume to my hair, add a little bit of grit, but a lot of the texturizing sprays that I've tried are a little bit on the light side, like they don't do enough. Like I really do like the Orbe dry texturizing spray, is that the full name? Yeah, the dry texturizing spray, but it is definitely on the lighter side. And I feel like the older I get, the more like kind of limp my hair gets and I just need a little bit more help. So this gives me the help that I need. And I, I really, really love it. I love the smell of it. I don't need a lot of it. I just spray a little bit of it like around the crown of my head, like at the roots. I just kind of like run my fingers through it and it just gives me that little bit of lift that I need. So that is my favorite, um, dry shampoo, and I've already repurchased this. There's another bottle in my bathroom already, so love that. The Orbe Balm Door Heat Styling Shield. 
this is what I put into my hair before I blow dry it. So I'll shampoo and condition my hair, towel dry it. I will put two or three pumps, depending on how long my hair is, two or three pumps of this into my hand and then just spread it all over my hair and then blow dry it. That's the only thing I put in my hair before I blow dry. I don't really use styling product. I just want something that's going to protect it from the heat and this does a really good job. And again, it smells so, so good like other Orbe products. So this is another product I already have another bottle of sitting in my bathroom that I use every day. So that is my heat styling shield. And then um, this is the Hair Ritual by Sisley. This is the Revitalizing Fortifying Serum for Scalp. And I have now been using this for, for over a year or two years. Oh my gosh, I can't even remember now. I think I'm on, is it my third or fourth bottle? I can't remember, but this is something that when you start using it, I think you use it every other day for like a couple of weeks and then you downshift and you use it like once every three days, once every four days or like twice a week. And this product just works really, really well for me. I will put drops, you know, there's directions or whatever, but I put drops on my scalp and then I just kind of massage it into my scalp. It makes my hair healthier. I feel a real difference to my scalp. My scalp feels uh, fresher if that makes any sense. When I moved here to Vegas a little over three years ago from New York, the changes that I noticed to my hair, I attributed a lot to the water. The water here is very, very different from the water in New York. And you know, that's when I kind of started um, playing around with shampoos. That's when I discovered this and my hair just, you know, it was kind of coming back to life, but then I started noticing that I was losing a lot of hair, which I think it's just very natural. I think it's what happens as we get older, we start to lose hair or whatever. But um, Sisley had just come out with this. I pretty much purchased this when they um, just released this. And when I started using this, I noticed a lot less hair loss. I still lose, you know, I still lose hair in the shower, definitely. I think we all do. I think it's, it's a natural process. It has to happen. But I was losing like a lot. And once I started using this, I felt like I just wasn't losing as much. And I felt like my hair was shinier. It just looked healthier. This was the only change that I'd made to my hair. And I saw how healthy it was becoming. It did take a while. It probably took, I want to say like three to four months before I noticed a difference with my hair, but once I did, this is a product I realized I could not, I couldn't live without. So like I said, I'm on my like, I think my fourth bottle. So that's sitting in my bathroom and I do use it like twice a week now. I was really going hard with it. I was doing it every other day. <laughs> and I remember talking to um, a sales associate at Sicily and she was like, you really don't need to use it every other day because I had been using it for like a year straight. She's like, you really can downshift to like, twice a week or like once a week and just kind of like go back and forth. So I use it twice a week and I really, really love it. All right, skincare stuff. So I've got my big bottle of cleansing spa water from Kogendo. This is my absolute favorite uh, makeup remover. It just, it never leaves a film. It does such a good job removing makeup, waterproof makeup, waterproof mascara. It's just so, so good. There's like no fragrance. There's just nothing to it. This is not, in my cellar water. I sometimes call it that because, oh, there's a little bit left. I sometimes call it that because I feel like, you know, it's kind of in the same kind of category, but it's not a micellar water. This one is oil free. And I think that's why I love it so much because it really just doesn't leave a film. It leaves your skin feeling so, so clean, but not dry. And I have very dry skin, so that's important to me. So I really enjoy this. Um, I probably won't be going through quite as much of this as I have been because I just invested in a whole bunch of those face halos. And I've been using those to kind of do my first step of makeup removal. And then I'll go in with like a balm or something. So anyway, this has probably shown up in every single one of my empties and hopefully Maybe in my next empty, it won't show up. Not that I don't love it, but just trying to like use less stuff. So anyway, that is the cleansing spa water from Kogendo. Just it's such an excellent, impeccable product. The La Mer, the tonic, I have talked about this uh, quite a bit. I don't know when I wouldn't have talked about this other than like skincare routine videos, but I know I've mentioned this, but I use this day and night. I use this after I wash my face um, and it's a wonderful toner. It's like light pink when the bottle's full. And for me, it just leaves my skin feeling very, very balanced. It doesn't feel oily. It doesn't feel uh, particularly tight or dry. I know a lot of people's uh, perceptions of toners is one that's very astringent and one that, you know, kind of like sea breeze, like just one that's really gonna kind of suck the life out of your skin. And so I didn't use toners for a very long time. And then when I talked to an esthetician, they said, well, toners can be used for a number of different things, but um, she explained that she liked using it 
after you've kind of put water on your face, you've introduced any, like tap water, any kind of like water on your face that you need something to rebalance the pH on your skin. Um, and that way your skin is just, you know, a little bit more ready for all the other skincare that you're going to put on it. So she really was like very, very pro toner, but one that balanced the pH on your skin. So funny enough, she's an esthetician that did not work for La Mer, but La Mer is the toner that I find balances my skin the best. It just never ever feels dry, but it never ever feels oily. It's really great. It doesn't leave a film or anything on my skin. It's so clean feeling. So I have, I think I have a couple backups <laughs> in my backup closet and I have a bottle of this sitting on my vanity. So this is like a long time staple of mine. And this product, I think, I think this is the first empty of this product, but this has become a staple in my skincare routine as well, both day and night. Um, this is the Sicily, Sicilier Essential Skincare Lotion. So this is what I put onto my skin after I do toner. And what this does is it just, you know, it kind of softens up the skin, but really it's kind of like a prep for skincare. I really love this step. This is a product that I don't necessarily travel with a lot and I always miss it when I travel because what I'll do is I'll go from toner straight into my serum and it just feels like I need a little like something to kind of like prep my skin for it. And I always regret not traveling with this. So this is something that really has become like an essential step in my skincare routine, along with the along with the toner. Next, I have this Josh Rosebrook Hydrating Accelerator Moisturizing Facial Mist, and I really enjoy this facial mist. I'm not the biggest facial mist user. I have such dry skin. I feel like I should be, um, but it's just it's just a habit I'm not into. So anyway, it did take me a little while to get through this bottle because. You know, I have quite a few. I have like a bunch sitting here. I had this in my bathroom and then I moved it to my bedside. Like I was really trying to get into it, <laughs> just really trying to get into the whole facial mist thing. And not that I don't like them. Again, it's just not part of my routine, but I did get through this bottle and it's really, really lovely. It's very light on the skin. It doesn't leave any stickiness. That is my number one pet peeve with facial mist. I don't want to feel it. I want to feel it when I spray it on and then I want it to just kind of disappear and I wanna feel like I've been hydrated. So this definitely did a good job with that. My only minor gripe with this is the spray nozzle. The spray was fine, but it would drip. So this whole thing would get kind of messy. I was always kind of wiping it away and I felt like that was kind of a waste of product too. So that was my only issue with the spray nozzle. Good sprayer, but a little, a little weepy. <laughs> and then I just used up this Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. This one is okay. It's okay. It gave me the cloudy vision, which I'm not a fan of, and um, it would it would remove most of my makeup. I would say I would go in with the Kogan Doe Cleansing Spa Water, and then I depend on my second cleanse, like a cleansing balm, to really get rid of everything. To just go in and just like just suck everything out. And this didn't really do it. I would go in with my toner afterwards and on the cotton pad, I would notice there would be some left over. So it's okay. It's definitely not my favorite and I don't think I'll be repurchasing this. What I have repurchased and what I love is the Retrouve Luminous Cleansing Elixir. This is my favorite Holy Grail second cleanse. So it would take the place of this instant cleansing balm. This is such uh, an impeccable formula. So it's actually a little pump. I thought it was gonna be a tub like this where you just kind of dig your fingers in for a balm. It's in a pump, but what you get is like a balm that's already been broken down. It has like such a smooth texture. It's definitely oil-based. And this does such a good job cleansing all of your makeup off. There's absolutely no trace of makeup at all after I use this. And then on top of it, it makes my skin feel very, very, balanced. It doesn't feel dry. It doesn't feel oily. I just think this is an amazing product. I really love it. I've talked about this plenty of times. This is probably like the sixth uh, jar I've gone through and I probably have two or three in my closet. Um, I'm testing out another cleanser, so I'm not using this at the moment. I wish I could. I keep talking myself out of it, but I know if I open this up, I will only use this and I won't test anything else out. So anyway, I love this. Absolutely love it. And then I finished up, this is like a deluxe sample size of the Amora Vixa Firming Neck Cream. And neck cream and eye cream are probably the two steps in my skincare routine that I, 
I just don't do, I just don't do very often. Um, if I don't have time or if I'm lazy, I definitely cut those steps out. But this firming neck cream, when I did use it, it has a very lovely texture. It's thick. It's not quite pudding-like. It's not quite that thick. It does have a nice thickness to it, but it's really easy to spread. And I think it does a lovely job. I don't know that you need a separate cream for your neck per se. I generally just use my face cream and I just bring it down. But this was a really lovely product. Oh, you guys, the Sisley um, Pure Bright Activating Serum. I think I just talked about this on my live stream. I talked about this in my skincare game changers video that I did uh, maybe a couple, a month ago or so. Um, Cicely sent this to me in PR. I was going really hard with this. So this is just a 20 mil bottle. It's less than a fluid ounce, which is probably why I used it up so quickly. I was using it day and night and I was using it after the skincare lotion and I would just put it all over my face, bring it down, you know, on my neck and on my hands or whatever. This is one of my all time favorite serums. I saw a difference in my skin like within a week. I saw brightening. I definitely saw some evening out of some like sunspots that I have. Um, I saw the pores over here totally diminish. I don't have gigantic pores here, um, but I do have some. I definitely have some right here where my skin is like the oiliest and those I saw minimized. I noticed my skin look brighter and not just in um, like tone, not just like it was evening out and kind of like dulling down the sunspots, but brighter in that I felt like, like a glow from within kind of brightness was coming out. And I really don't think my skin has looked any better since I started using this. And I used this product up and I went onto the Sicily site because they were having a 20% off friends and family sale. And I was like, oh my God, they're having a sale. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna get another bottle and the sale ended the day before. I was so, so pissed. So anyway, I was like, well, let me wait for another sale because there's always another sale. Um, and uh, I'm gonna take the opportunity now to finish up that Victoria Beckham Augustinus Batter serum that I have. Um, that one, I like. This one, I love. That one I like is fine. So I'm trying to use that one up because I have it. Um, and then I think I'm gonna be repurchasing this because it's, oh, it's it's impeccable. It's so, so good. Oh, the only downside to this I should mention is that it does have a lavender scent to it, which is not my favorite. And then the Augustinus Batter, the Rich Cream. I did not like this. This I don't think was suitable for my uh, skin type, which is weird because I think this is supposed to be for dry skin. I actually felt like it dried out my skin. I know that sounds really, really weird, but I would put it on at night because this is the rich cream. So this is like really, really thick. So I'd put it on at night and I would wake up and it just didn't feel like, my skin didn't feel nourished. It, it's just really weird. And I know this is an unpopular opinion. People love this product. Um, but I also wanted to show you that like, oh, that I haven't been using it that long and it's already like separated. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a lotion and then there's all this like liquid running down. So I've shaken it up. I've done all the things that you should do to try and kind of like bring it all back together and it just won't. So I'm just tossing it out because now I can't even use it. And it's so weird because this container seems so like airtight and airproof. And so unfortunately I was a little bit disappointed with this and sad that it kind of, separated and went bad so quickly. And then just quickly, two things that my husband threw in here, um, and I talked about this during my Sephora haul because I had to buy him some more because he really likes these products, but this is the Belief Problem Solution Moisturizer, and this is the Belief Pore Cleaner Foam Cleanser. So he's gone through many of these. I purchased two of each for him. He really, really likes this as a cleanser. He calls this his aftershave. So he just throws this on. He likes that this is a little bit on the lighter side, that it's not too thick. It soaks in quickly. Um, he's kind of a typical guy. He doesn't want like all this like cream on his face. So he really enjoys this. He has normal combo skin for your reference. So he enjoys these. Got him some more already. And then finally, we have some body things. So let's see, let me start with the Glossier Body Hero. This is the Daily Oil Wash. Um, this is what I use in the shower as my wash. I really enjoy it. It has a nice kind of gentle feminine fragrance. It's a little bit 
like a light musk, light floral kind of scent. It's really nice. It's very clean smelling, so I do enjoy it. It has a very thin like oil texture, but when I put it onto like my little shower puff, it like lathers up. It's really nice. It doesn't dry out my skin. It's really good for that. There's actually another shower gel in here, which I'll talk about next, that really dried out my skin. I love the scent of it, but it just, oh my gosh, my skin was so, so flaky after using it. So I went back to this, really love it, and I already have one backup and one in my shower that I'm using. So that is the Glossier Body Hero. And then the shower gel that really kind of <laughs> dried me out, unfortunately, is this fresh sugar lemon bath and shower gel. If you have dry skin, I would not recommend this. That's my personal experience. I love, love the smell of all this like fresh sugar. I think they have fresh sugar like lemon, fresh sugar grapefruit, which maybe I tried before this. Both of them just really dried out my skin. So unfortunately, I will not be repurchasing this. Another shower gel that I went through, I liked this. This is from Plant Apothecary. This is the Wakey Wakey <laughs> Body Wash. And this has a rosemary and lemongrass scent. Now there's just like a little bit left in here because this nozzle, as much as I enjoyed it in the beginning, it kept getting clogged. And so I, I wanna say about halfway when I was done with this, I had to start like unscrewing this whole thing to, to use it and I even tried kind of like running this under hot water and kind of like poking a needle through there and it just kept getting clogged and clogged and reclogged. So that was really, really annoying, but I do like this body wash. It's almost like a concentrate. You really don't need that much of it to kind of wash your body and it wasn't drying at all because it didn't really suds up. Um, but I like a little lather. I just feel like I'm doing something when I see the lather. So I, that's, I think, why I like the Glossier um, Body Hero so much. It's because it, it does lather enough for me to think like something's going on, but it doesn't dry out my skin. So anyway, the Wakey Wakey Body Wash from Plant Apothecary. I, I would recommend this except for this dispenser. And then I finished another Aesop Rind Concentrate Body Balm. I think I talked about one of these in my last empties. I love this body lotion. This is a really good one. Uh, smells like oranges. I love the citrus scent. It just smells so fresh and clean. Um, the only downside to this is this is a metal tube. So it's hard to get like every single last bit of this lotion out. But I purchased the Orbe hand scrub and it came with one of those twisty things that you kind of just slip onto the end and then you can turn it and it turns this whole thing up. So that came in very, very handy. I got every last bit of this out. So will I repurchase this? I probably will. I do have some other body lotions to get through, uh, but I wouldn't hesitate in repurchasing this. And in fact, every time I've seen a sale, like on Nordstrom, I think, I, I looked for this and it was always out of stock. And I was like, Ugh. So anyway, I would repurchase this and I do recommend this. And then last but not least, this I got last summer, the summer before, I think the summer before. This is from Rodin and this was their luxury body oil in a limited edition sea kelp and sambic version. This was like part of their mermaid collection. Yeah, this was two summers ago. And it was so beautiful in the bottle because there was like three different kinds of oil. So it looked striped and you kind of had to gently shake to kind of combine it all and then pour it out. So I really enjoyed this. The scent was so fresh and, and seaside and clean. It really smelled kind of like salt water really, really beautiful. I was really, really stingy with the usage of this because I loved this on my vanity. It was so pretty. I loved looking at it. I loved looking. It was like a yellow, a clear, and a blue oil. So it just looked summery. And then this bottle is gorgeous. But then finally I was like, oh my God, I've had this way too long. I just need to finish this up. So I did. And it's lovely. It's a very lovely body oil from Rodin. And I think they've since come out like this last summer, they came out with another version, which I think had like hot pink, uh, which I would have gotten, but I had this still <laughs> sitting in my vanity. And I was like, no, Michelle, stop it. So anyway, lovely, lovely body oil. Oh, I lied. I have one more thing. And this is the Clean Apothecary Brush Shampoo. And I finished this up. Isn't that disgusting? Oh God. <laughs> finish this up and this is another one that has an orangey scent they have a bunch of different scents um i like this i i thought it was really nice i don't find much of a difference between well no that's a lie i was gonna say i don't find much of a difference between this and the beauty blender solid cleanser the beauty blender solid cleanser i feel like cleans my brushes 
faster. So I do find that that one is a little bit more effective, but I do also find that one a little bit more drying on my brushes. When I clean my brushes with this, I have to take a little bit more time to kind of get everything out. Uh, which is okay when I have time um, because my brushes come out, they just feel a little bit more conditioned. So I feel like this one is just more gentle all around. Um, and would I repurchase this? I think I would, I think I would. Um, again, I do have some other brush cleaners to get through <laughs> before I do that, but I wouldn't hesitate in repurchasing this and I would definitely recommend it to anyone who wants to try this. All right, I think that's it. Um, I know I accidentally tossed things out <laughs> over the course of time because I just I just forget sometimes to throw things in my empties but this is what I've collected I hope you enjoyed this video please let me know if you have any questions um, down below in my comment section and give this video a thumbs up before you leave subscribe down below if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video